Whoa, I don't remember how to make a YouTube video. It's been a long time. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Give me a paw. Paw. Yeah. Super smart. Oh, and look who it is. Come here. Oh, he's so fat. We got dogs. Um, hi. I think the last time I posted a video was like the beginning of summer, so it's been a long time. I don't remember how to speak. I wanted to post something because I feel like I kind of just disappeared and didn't really give an explanation. Long story short, I got a job at a tattoo shop last September and that has become my entire life. I've been working as a full-time tattoo artist since then. It's kind of funny how it all came to be because my goal for last year was to become a tattoo artist. So in January of last year, I started learning online. Uh, eventually I progressed to fake skin and then to my own skin and my friend's skin and I made a list of like the top five tattoo shops that I really wanted to work at and I was overthinking how the heck I was going to approach these shops. I was so intimidated by asking anyone to work there. Basically one day I just started posting the stuff that I was doing at home on my Instagram and the owner of the number one shop on my list reached out to me in my DMs and said, we have a space, would you like it? And I said, yes. Then I got licensed at that shop and I moved all my stuff in and the rest is history. I think part of what motivated me to learn as fast as I did was because I wanted to get out of YouTube as my job. I worked as a full-time YouTuber for six years, which is a weird thing to say, but it's just the reality of the current times. And it was fun in the beginning, but I think eventually I started to kind Kind of dislike it and it became such a chore to force myself to put on a personality and put up content every week and stick to what these brands wanted and what my managers wanted and like trying to please everyone eventually I just got so burnt out of all of it that I had to quit and so I think that was part of what motivated me to really take the steps to pivot my career to something entirely different tattooing has been my dream job since I was like 13 and I used to have posters of all of these bands that I liked on the walls and they were covered in tattoos and I had always been an artist and I decided I want to make tattoos when I grow up. I went to art school, I got a degree in illustration and my goal after that was to find a job in a shop or an apprenticeship or whatever and start working as a tattoo artist but then I kind of accidentally became a YouTuber because I was traveling and I started vlogging and it all blew up and turn into my job and so I just kind of ran with it for a while but now I'm I feel like I'm back on my original path I just took a couple detours but it feels really good and it feels very much in alignment with what I'm supposed to be doing and I feel like I'm so much happier doing tattooing and I wake up every day excited I feel like I have a purpose I love making art and I love putting something on someone else that makes them feel more comfortable in their body and feel more confident. I just love like the meeting people and having that one-on-one -on -one time with my clients and it's just great. It just feels right. All that to say, I don't know if I'm leaving YouTube entirely. Maybe I'll post here and there, maybe I won't. Um, I'm kind of making this video just to give everyone that doesn't already follow me on Instagram a heads up that this is what I'm doing now. If you want to follow along, you can follow me on Instagram at Steffi Lee. I post tattoos there. I've been doing a lot of reels. I'm trying to branch out and get more creative with that as a new sort of outlet instead of YouTube. Like I want to focus more on short form content. I don't know why I'm moving my hands so much. I would love if you followed me on there um, if you want to. No pressure, obviously, but <laughs> other than that, for anyone that cares, I still live in my house and I still have my dogs. I don't really know what I would vlog about if I were to come back to YouTube regularly because my life is kind of boring now. I just kind of wake up, work out, play with my dogs, go tattoo, and then come home, and then that's pretty much what I do every day, but I love it, but it's like, that's not really content that people want to watch in like a long form 
way. And I, I don't really want to be that person that brings my camera and vlogs my tattoo appointments because that's just awkward for my clients and my coworkers, and I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm currently accepting new appointments if anyone lives near Asheville, North Carolina and wants to get tattooed. Just don't be weird. I've had some kind of creepy experiences and I would really prefer to not have any more of those. So if you'd like to get tattooed by me, I would love to do that and I would love to meet you. But please don't put me on a pedestal or be creepy because I'm just a person and I'm just trying to live a normal life. I really want to do more guest spots in the future. So like travel a little bit and go work at different shops, maybe a couple times a year or something. I think that would be a cool way to like satisfy the travel side of me and the tattoo side of me at the same time. That's a possibility and if that happens I'll post about it on my Instagram. Whew, my rice is ready. I'm making rice and beans and veggies for dinner and the rice cooker just popped so I'm gonna go. But yeah, this is my update. Go follow me on Instagram. Come get a tattoo. I don't know. Bye! <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, I'm sorry. Bye! <laughs>